This is what a no-budget real setup looks like. I'm recording this on the iPhone 15 Pro without any external microphone and with no light at all. I'm just using a window to light myself. And later in this video, we're also going to talk about a mid-budget setup. And at the end, we'll talk about an $8,000 real setup. And we will discuss and compare, is it really worth investing that much money? Or can you also get some awesome looking results as you're seeing them right now, if you know what you're doing. So without any further Without further ado, let's get started. Short form content has taken over the world in a storm. No matter where you go, where you look, you will always see a vertical 9x16 video coming for you. And it makes a lot of sense. You can reach a large audience, new people, and compared to full 16x9 videos, they are rather simple and fast to make. But what does it actually take to record some high quality short form videos? Do you need AI tracking tools, gimbals, cages, microphone, lights? Is all of that really needed? To be honest, in my opinion, no. The video video that you saw at the very beginning of this video was just recorded on my iPhone with no lights, no accessories, nothing at all. But you need to know what you're doing. In this video, I'm going to show you three different setups that you can use to record some high quality short form content if you have no budget, if you have a little bit of a budget, and if money is no problem for you at all. But before you get discouraged, like our most viewed videos across all the different socials were all videos that we shot just using our iPhone with no fancy gear at all. So I think it comes more down to the content itself and less about what you're using to capture it. But let's get going. But first up, before I will show you the first setup, let's talk about filming vertical in the first place. You can see I have one setup right here, which is the low budget option. And then I have a more higher budget option right here. This is the Canon R5C and I'm using an L bracket. But you might be asking yourself, like, why should you film vertical in the first place? Because if you have a shot like I have right here, right now like I could also just crop away the sides and then I also have a vertical shot and to be honest like absolutely you can do that and I have done that over a hundred times already and it works completely fine you're just losing lots of the quality because like you're just getting like a very tiny portion of the entire sensor however on the other side if you're filming vertically like properly vertically like I have set it up right here or also if you're filming with your smartphone you get the full quality that your camera that your smartphone is providing and you just just get a better image overall. You have to decide for yourself, like if you're filming a video like this, can you repurpose different clips and just cut them out to have different shorts? Then absolutely, it makes sense to just film horizontally. But if you're shooting dedicated shorts that are just primarily made to be published on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts, then I would recommend to just, you know, film properly, film vertically. You'll just get better results overall. All right, so let's kick things off with the no budget option. I'm currently also using the natural lighting that we're also going to be using with the iPhone setup. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put you like behind there so that you get a behind the scenes look. And then I'm basically just walking you through like how I'm placing myself, how I'm setting up everything and how you can get like a very nice looking no budget option. So let's get started. So as you can see, light plays a huge role. This shot right now looks absolutely horrible, but that's also not what we're looking for. We're going to be using the iPhone today to get that good look. And actually, I'm just going to start a recording right now. So this is what it's looking um, without any processing, without any tweaks, without anything at all. And currently, I'm also using the front camera, which to be honest, I would not recommend. Like if you can, always make sure that you're using the back camera because that always just um, delivers like much better quality. If you have to use the front camera, then one thing that I would recommend that you do is use 4K 24 frames per second. Long press on yourself and then just bring down the overall exposure because especially iPhones always tend to overexpose. Currently what I have right here, so I'm basically just standing right in front of the window. And if I'm placing myself like very frontal in front of the window, you can see like now my entire face is lit like very evenly and the background is very dark. And if I wanted to create like a bit more of a cinematic image so that one side of my image, uh, one side of my face is lit up and the other one is a bit darker, like I could also be using something like this. If you have any kind of artificial lighting, like I have our logo right here, or you could play some blue lights, some like whatever that floats your boat, whatever you like, then obviously this is gonna um, like just make the entire image just look so much cooler. But obviously, um, or like the, the goal of this video what I wanted to show you is like without any setup, without 
any budget without anything at all you can also be creating some really cool looking stuff some really dope looking stuff and usually what we found is that the more authentic stuff that we're making the more hands-on everything is you know the more that people can feel like okay this is a real human being behind that like the better the the content usually performs so don't let you know gear or anything hold you back if you can like i said before i would recommend that you're shooting with um, the back camera downside is i cannot see myself maybe it's still overexposed maybe it's perfectly exposed but basically all of the same things applied that we talked about before and guys the main takeaway for you should be like don't let gear hold you back like just using natural lighting can go a very very long way so definitely make sure to just get started use natural lighting and also make sure that you capture some clean audio but I'll show you a trick right now. And one tool you guys definitely need to check out if you're recording just with your smartphone without any professional audio like the studio microphone or any wireless microphone system and that is Adobe Podcast. Currently as of recording of this video this is a free beta software. Just type in podcast.adobe.com slash enhance and then you can basically just drag and drop in your video file your audio file. So this is the video that I just captured like a minute ago. The one that you guys have just seen. Basically all you got to do just let that up and then you can basically just dial in like how much of the magic you want and it's basically gonna isolate your voice uh, you know really good it's also gonna get rid of any background noises it's, it's just doing like EQ like at a very very high level and like I said it's completely for free and especially if you don't have any proper microphone then make sure to use Adobe podcast so this is what it's looking um, without any processing, without any tweaks, without anything at all. So this is what it's looking um, without any processing, without any tweaks, without anything at all. All right, everybody, welcome to set number two. Welcome to this horrible looking image, but this is where the real magic is happening. So let's move over there. So what you can see right now like i just hit the record button and this is what it looks like from the auto exposure from again the iphone 15 pro and i'm again unfortunately using the front camera because you know as a one-man band filming with the back camera is a bit of a pain and i already screwed it up but as you can see it's a bit struggling because the light source is right over here and it's very bright so what i would recommend is just bring down the exposure something like this and now it's already looking a lot better compared to before the beauty with this setup right here is that i can control the light how i want it so if i wanted to turn you know the soft box over to the right or over to the left or whatever i could just you know play with the light a lot more i'm not so reliant on what's happening outside and one more thing or a few more things that we added to this next tier up is right now i'm also using a tripod so i'm currently using the shift cam tripod but also the sandmark tripod like there are many different options out there that are really good i'm also using a cage for the iphone 15 pro to be honest doesn't really matter doesn't really need that for this case but i just had it laying around so i thought why not use it anyway and the biggest difference from this setup right here compared to the one that we had before besides having the light is now also the audio source i'm using the hollyland lark max this is a professional audio you know you can you have been hearing it throughout this video already but it just has like a very clear sound and even though adobe podcast with the ai tool and you know with doing everything with AI is very good it's still no comparison to having a proper good audio source but let me know how you like that now let's move on to some really fancy gear and to some really fancy setup to setup number three if money plays no role for you if money is not the biggest issue or you just care for the absolute best real quality or video quality in general somehow possible then welcome to this setup this is gonna be for you what you're watching at right now or what you're looking at right now this is being filmed on the canon r5c i'm shooting in 4k and i'm also using a 35 mil 1.4 lens and this creates this really cool dope effect i absolutely love the video quality that I'm getting out of my Canon R5C. The key light that I'm using right here to give me the soft light is the Aperture 120D. One other thing that is very important is the audio. As you can hear, this is crystal clear. This is by far the best audio that you have heard throughout this entire video. This is the pod mic, not the USB, just a regular pod mic. And I'm recording this into a Rodecaster Pro 2. And there you also get some EQing. And this creates this very nice, very subtle and very high quality 
quality sound. And yeah, this is what all of that looks like. But in my opinion, one of the biggest differences between this setup right here is obviously the video quality is better. Obviously, the audio is a little bit better. But also when it comes to the lighting, like I feel or in my opinion, lighting makes such a huge difference. And also when it comes to the accent lights that you can see behind me, I went for a kind of teal and orange look. And the lights that I'm using for that are these lights right here from Zion. These are called the Molus M20C. These are RGB lights, so you can basically dial in any colors. I'm using two of them behind me, as you can see right now. And I absolutely love them because they are super versatile. Like they are literally the size of a sticky note. They have a battery built in. They also have a honeycomb grid. They also have like, you know, leaf barn so that you can really focus the light and you can use them as I'm using them right now just to get, you know, a very nice background. But you can obviously also use them, you know, to separate yourself from the background. So you could use them as a backlight. Or if you are just a one man band, you can also always use that as a key light. I would probably not recommend to use that as a key light because, yeah, it's just a tiny light source and it's probably not ideal for a key light. But for, you know, color, um, color spills, color, you know, accents as I'm using them right now, I think it creates some absolutely amazing colors. I can definitely recommend them to you. Huge thanks also to Cyan for supporting the channel. I will link that down below. And I have one, as you can see, I have also one more um, completely sealed, completely new light. Um, Cyan has sent me a bunch of them and you can win them if you comment below this video. Comment which of these three setups you like the best and why and also what's the most like cost to effectiveness ratio. Like obviously this is going to be the most spectacular shot, the most beautiful looking shot. But is it actually worth investing all that money into a setup like this? I've said it at the beginning, our most successful videos that we have been creating, like those were just captured with our iPhone and with nothing else. So I don't feel that you absolutely need to have all that kind of stuff. But comment down below which of these three you like the best. And obviously in this video, we've talked a lot about shooting great looking reels, but there is one more thing that is very important and that is the actual editing of your reels. In case you want to do that yourself, then check out the link down below. We've created a CapCut masterclass where we are showing you how you can edit your own reels, how you can create viral reels for yourself. Or if you are already a bit more experienced, and again, if you are on the side where money is not your biggest issue and you want to outsource your edits, we're very close to launching something extremely cool where you can edit together with our own editors, the ones that have been editing this video here, for example, and also all of the other videos that you're seeing online from us. In case that sounds interesting for you, definitely make sure to check out the video description. We will have a waiting list ready for you all because we're going to launch that really soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Huge thanks again to Zion for sending the light over. Um, definitely make sure to check this out. A very versatile light that has some very high light quality. The output is nice. I also love that it has a built-in battery. So yeah, definitely make sure to check it out. Huge thanks for watching. And in case you have not seen the video where I'm giving you tips on how to edit in CapCut, then check out this video over there.